how are you today? God, it looks like I'm bald. Like, <laughs> honestly, I have my hair under here, but because it's so short, I... <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Today is week three of the Movie Marquee Challenge that I'm doing with Heather the Crochet Witch. Hi, Heather! Uh, and... <clears throat> I actually got something done, you guys. <laughs> Yay! Um, yeah, so last week I was telling you that I had nothing to show you, <laughs> pretty much, because um, I had so many different issues with what was happening. The yarn I wanted to use wasn't working. The patterns I was trying weren't working. It just seemed like nothing I tried would work. So finally, I just said, you know what? Let's go to Bag O'Day. Let's see what she has. Because one of her sweaters popped up. Oh, I feel like you're so far away from me. Hang on. Ah, that help at all? Uh. Okay, so she, one of her sweaters popped up, I guess because it's Christmas coming. And it was a Christmas sweater, a little baby Christmas sweater. I think she called it the ugly Christmas sweater, which I didn't think it was ugly. But <laughs> anyway, um, so good Lord. Okay. Um, so I thought, well, it looks pretty basic and pretty easy. So let's do it. Um, I used two different colors. And then I all of a sudden had this idea in my head and I was like, all right, let's, let's do this. So I started doing it and I ran into some problems at first because she had two videos. One was a white sweater. One was a red sweater. Um, the count that she did was different. It, it, it was weird, but anyway, I figured it out and, uh, I finished the sweater. Okay, you ready? <laughs> okay. Ta-da! Okay, now as you're going to see, sorry, there's light coming in here. There's fur on here. Well, I'm kind of going along the lines of the wolf in... Oh, I didn't even talk about the movie. Hello. And the movie I chose for this month was um, uh, blah, 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 Twilight. And this is the movie poster I chose because I am Team Jacob all the way. And so I was going along the lines of the wolf. Okay, so I put the fur on there. Isn't it cute? <laughs> it's got a little button on the back. Like I may change the button because I think this button's a little bit too big. Um, so I'm going to have to go to Michael's and see if I can't find a smaller button because all of my buttons are this size and bigger. I thought about putting a snap on it and I was like, nah. so I'm going to go and, and check out some different buttons for, but for the time being, just to show you guys, uh, I just put that button on. So I think it's adorable. <laughs> Now, the reason why I put the fur on is because of the wolf, but also because of the hat that I'm going to be making. I'm so excited. I hope it turns out. <laughs> so, yeah. So, there it is, guys. It's all finished. Now, this is a three to six month. Or is it zero? No. Yeah. Three. Three to six month, I think. It's awfully small. Maybe it's a zero to three month. I think it's zero to three months. Yeah. So, yeah. It's just so cute. I did the front post, back post cuff. And, uh, and I did the same on the bottom. And it's just a really basic sweater. Really basic. Um, I considered a hood and then I went, no, because I'm going to be making the hat. So I just left it as, what's this called? A crew neck? 
Anyway, so there it is. The little baby. <sighs> so now I'm debating, do I give this to my grandson coming or do I sell it? I'll have to talk to my daughter. So there it is. Yay. I got a finished project. Well, the whole project isn't finished yet because I still have to make the hat. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, oh, um, the yarn I used, I guess I should talk about this, right? Duh. I brought my glasses this time. <laughs> okay. The yarn I used is Heartland. Okay, it looks really red here, but it's actually not. It's brown. <laughs> eh, anyway, it's called Sequoia. I think it's so pretty. Uh, it's 100% acrylic and it's a medium four, which I don't think so. I think it's a three, but, or a light four anyway. Okay, and then I used Heartland again, and this color is Grand Canyon. Look at the shine on this. I just love Heartland, but it's like a wheat color. So I thought those went perfectly, and I think they did. Now the fur is called Fantastic Fur, uh, Fantastic Faux Fur by Love, L-U-V. Where did I get this? Oh, I know. I got it at the Dollar Tree, a dollar store, Dollarama, I think it's called. It's 100% polyester. Now, I would have preferred it if it was more brown than it was black. Like, it's a dark, dark brown, black. So, but I mean, it. it I think it was okay. Uh, and this color was leopard. I mean, you just got to kind of go with what you go with, right? But this, oh, this is, um. it says it's a bulky five. Looks like a caterpillar. <laughs> this was really easy to work with. I was really surprised. I thought, oh my God, it's going to be so bulky. Um, it's going to be really hard to pull through this, you know, to do single crochets and stuff. And it wasn't. It was easy. The yarn, the fluff actually squashed down. So it wasn't all big and bulky like you'd think it would be. So I was really happy with that. Um, so I, I'm really, really happy that I used that. Uh, but like I say, I wish it had been a little, the base of it had been a little bit lighter, but that's okay. I think it, I think it was okay. Right. I think it's okay. So, yeah, I mean, if I was going to do this again, I would have done the, the fur differently because you can see the stitches underneath. Um, I did more of a slip stitch and I should have done more of a single crochet. I thought it was going to be too bulky. So I just went with the slip stitch. I'm not going to do that next time. Uh, I'm definitely going to do a single crochet. So it puffs up, um, and then you won't see the stitches. <clears throat> so that's, uh note for next time because I do want to make more of these I think they're adorable but then that's just because I made it right <laughs> not <laughs> I'm the hardest judge on myself right so anyway okay so now I gotta make the hat and that will be next week's video all right guys thanks for joining me and I will talk to you next week don't forget to go over to Heather's channel and check out what she is doing. Her link is down below. Her blanket is amazing. Again, um, she's doing a ripple stitch blanket that I think it's, what she say? Creative Grandma, I think, did it. I want to do, I don't make blankets at all, ever. Like, really. Um, but that blanket makes me want to make one. I wonder if you could make that into a sweater. Ooh. <laughs>
Hmm. Now she's got me thinking. But go over to Heather's channel and check her out. Give her some yarny love. And uh, her link is always down below. <sighs> and I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Love you all. Bye.